creek, crack, creek, crack, creek, creek, crack, creek, crack, creek, crack. My coach is flying up in the air because there's a tiger under it. Tiger, put me down. What in the world are you doing under the coach? Tiger is looking for the whistle. Tiger lost it. The tiger sniffles. I help the tiger find the whistle. Then I say, "Tiger, please sit down right here, and be very, very quiet, so I can read my book." Okay. Okay. Tiger will sit down. Tiger will be very, very, very quiet. The tiger whispers. The tiger plops down on the floor in front of me, and he is very, very quiet. He doesn't make another sound. No chomp, chomp, chomping. No grrr, grrr, grrring. No haya, hayaing. No chew, 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 tooting. Not even any. Creak, crack, creak, cracking. I hold my book up in front of my face, so I can't see the tiger. I try to concentrate. All of a sudden, I think I see a little shadow on my book. I do see a shadow. Then I think I see a whisker. I do see a whisker. Then I see a nose. Then I see a whole tiger in front of my book. Tiger, what are you doing? You're in the way. I can't see my book. I am trying to read. What's that? The tiger asks. The tiger points to a picture in my book. That's the tiger in the story. I tell him. A tiger. The tiger shouts. Then he jumps onto the couch. He fluffs the couch cushions and curls up beside me, and finally. I can read my book to Tiger.